uh, I will explain to you very deeply how you can set a verb. You see, it's difficult to pull because the verb is not properly set. This particular pattern works very well for all type of uh, four-stroke petrol generators. So that is it. Instead of going through the stress of losing your plug and taking your piston up and down, trying to set valve, just follow this uh, method, which is easier and faster. And I tell you in no time, you would have succeeded in fixing the valve of your generator. Hey guys, on today's class, we'll be looking at how to set a valve. We'll be setting the valve of this giant generator. And uh, I will explain to you very deeply how you can set a valve okay before i continue i'll guys i have to show you guys something you see this particular generator starting the jet okay let me put it on so you understand really what i'm explaining starting the generator it's difficult when you pull it takes your hand back okay one of the few things that would make your generator have this kind of issues is when your valve is not properly set and that's what we'll be doing in this particular um, class we'll be setting the valve without wasting much of your time let's dive deep into this session okay these are the spanners i'll be using for today's class okay i'll be using a three-way spanner that has uh eight nine and ten mm sizes i'll be using a 10 combination i will equally be using all these other relevant spanner you can check them out okay i will drop the link in the description so you have access to them if you want to all right without wasting much of your time let's open this valve chamber okay this is what we have here in my many years of experience this is how the valve works anyway Okay, this is how the valve works, and it's very, very difficult to pull. You see, it's difficult to pull because the valve is not properly set. Now, you may have watched a lot of videos that will tell you when your piston is at top dead center, do this. When your piston is at bottom dead center, do this. I'm not going to tell you guys all that. I'll be going straight to the point to teach you the technique I've been using over time to set valve. Okay? I have my 14 spanner here. You can decide to use a flat spanner if you want to. But I usually do like this one and a three way spanner. What I do basically is to close the valve. You see, this valve is very much open. And this is very much open. Because I need my gen cord to be free so I can start it easily. I'm going to close this valve. All right, let's go. See, very free. I'll close it a little. How do I close it? I loosen it out, then take this down a little. Take this down, then I tighten it. Okay? I apply same to this. Apply same to this and I tighten it a little. I tighten it back. What I've succeeded in doing here is to make sure compression is reduced. You can see how I've tightened it back. All right, let's check out our cord. We discover it's still very much tight but what do we do next we look further and look for root after pulling the cord we look further and check that one is still loose what do we do next we tighten a little and i believe after tightening this now the gen cord will be so we we'll tighten a little, all right. We we'll tighten a little, and then we we'll pull.
you see we've been able to <laughs> set the valve of this generator there's one good thing about this is you can still further reduce how strong pulling the generator is by still going further you look at the both side of the valve you look at the both side of the valve and discover there is still an option to tight further okay you tight further tight further this is tight a little then you apply same to the right one as well good good then what else you kick start to test run what you've done so that is it instead of going through the stress of losing your plug and taking your piston up and down trying to set valve just follow this uh, method which is easier and faster you discover your valve is a little bit loose you tight for that check the starter and see if it's free enough for you to at least pull now if it's not free you go back you tight for that again just like i've done and i tell you in no time you would have succeeded in fixing the valve of your generator this particular pattern works very well for all type of uh, four stroke petrol generator it works very very well i assure you that this is a technique i use in setting valve i don't follow other numerous stressful method that just takes much of your time okay if you have loved our videos if you love this particular video and you still want to learn more please do well to subscribe to this particular channel turn your notification bell so when other videos are posted you are among the first to see them if you have further questions as regards this particular teaching you want to know a lot of things as regards this and you feel you still don't get it properly do well to drop comments in the comment section I will definitely attend to them all. Till meeting our next class is goodbye from us.